Acts chapter 3 and verse uh, 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 25. Amen. Go straight to verse 25. We're we we not even going to read all of it. Y'all know what's going on. Uh, let's get to verse 25. Look what he says at verse 25. He says, ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Unto you first, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you and turn away every one of you from your iniquities, from his iniquities, rather. Father, add a blessing to the reading, the hearing, and the preaching of your most holy word. You know what I'm risking to preach this, God. I'm laying my life on the line. But Father, I love your people so much, and I love you so much, that I'd rather lay it down. You say, greater love had no man than this, than a man would lay down his life for his friend. Father, bless this word here, in Jesus' name, amen. Come on, give God some glory, amen. All right, as we look at verses 17 on down, you know what's going on. Peter and John at the beautiful gate, a man paralyzed, amen. Hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, young girls. Hallelujah, taking care of the house of God. Peter said, silver and gold have I none, but in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk instantly, the man was healed. We started talking about the God of miracles. Then Peter begins to rebuke them. We talked about the prince of life. And now we're in our current series when Peter said, listen, in verse 17, it was because of ignorance you did it. Somebody say ignorance. ignorance. And we began to talk about ignorance. We gave the definition of ignorance, the evidence of ignorance, the results of ignorance, the causes of ignorance. And then we began to talk about the subject matter in which we are ignorant of. We talked about not all of us, but, but all, all mankind has pockets of ignorance. And so as we look at mankind in global, mankind is ignorant of God, of theology, his holiness, his justice, his love. The everyday individual on the street don't know God like he thinks he knows God or she thinks she knows God. Uh, uh, we also ignorant of self. That's uh, anthropology. We ignorant of self that we're sinners, that we're lawbreakers, that we need to be converted. Amen. And that we need the Lord. In general mankind as a whole, the average person on the street don't know that about themselves. You see, uh, 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 there's a, a general ignorance of the judgment, eschatology. Uh, uh, the average everyday person don't know all about the judgment. They don't know about the beamer seat that we talked about. They don't know about the great white throne judgment. They don't know about the books that's going to be open, the book of the law, the book of the works, and the Lamb's book of life. They don't know about those things. And God says, my people, they perish for a lack of knowledge. For ignorance, they perish. But this morning, I want to continue along the same lines, and I want to tell you another subject in which the world at large is ignorant of. And we get it from verse 25. The world at large, man at large, is ignorant regarding who the children of the prophets are. Who the children of the prophets are. And I'm going to talk with you, I'm, amen, I'm going to have three points. And in those three points, we'll talk about the Jews today. Amen. The Jews today. Hallelujah, you're going to have to follow me close. The Jews today, uh, number two, the children of the prophets, and number three, so what? <laughs> so what? So what? I'm so happy you're here this morning. You have no idea how happy I am you're here this morning. Let's begin with number one, the Jews today. The Bible says in Acts 3.25, ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with our fathers. Listen, in his sermon, Peter is telling his audience, you the, you the children of the prophets. He's talking, amen, to Israel. He's saying, you the children of the prophet. Uh, and, and he's saying, amen, hallelujah, that, that, that all of this, the covenants, the prophets, they all belong to you. He's talking to an audience, and his audience is Israel. His audience, amen, are the children of the prophets. Uh, uh, as I thought about this and researched it, amen, I had to do a paradigm shift in my life. A paradigm shift is when you think something is right and then you find out that it's wrong. You find out it's wrong. And if you are here, amen, and we grow old together, 
There will be some times when I'm going to get up in front of you, amen, if I preach truth. And I'm going to tell you, God has revealed to me something different than I thought I knew. And that should be all right. That should be all right. False doctrine is when God tell you the truth and you still uh, rather believe the lie. Amen. You rather believe the lie so you don't go with the truth. No, no, no. That's not going to be me. That's not going to be me. That's not going to be me. So to be honest with you, I have had to rethink everything I thought was true. Everything I thought was true. Stay with me. Because what I'm about to tell you is going to go against everything you thought was true. It's going to be so bad because it was about the way you was raised, the way you was educated, that after I tell you the truth, you're going to still rather believe the lie. Some men you're going to say that ain't true. Some men you're going to say that can't be. But my God says, we just sung, nothing's impossible. You're the God of miracles. You know what I'm saying? I can't do it like Brian. <laughs> to begin with, we must understand that the Jews today are not the original people of God. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. And so on everything I did, amen, even on Expounding Truth, we support it because the, the Lord says he who blesses Israel that God's going to bless. Amen. So listen, as we looked at it and you can go and you can look at hallelujah financial records. Listen, there was very few African-American churches. Amen. That was a bigger supporter than Israel than Philadelphia. Anybody hear me up in here? It was so big. Those that's in amen, a uh, uh, leadership know that while we were going through this epiphany as a church, because we've already sat down, we've already discussed this, we've already cried about it, amen, we've already talked about the repercussions for Philadelphia, we've already talked about it all. While we're going through all of this, am I right, Miss Bridget? While we're going through all of this, I get an invitation from Israel to come to the Holy Land. I was on the short list. Of a few people in the nation, two in the state, so when I talk to you here, it's not because I don't love Israel. It's not that I anti I'm anti-Semitic. No, no, no. That, that, listen, you can go back in my other sermons and see what I taught about Israel. How I preach Haaretz Israel, the greater Israel. Listen, listen. But something happened when I began to dig. Something happened. You see? The Jews in Israel today are not the original Hebrews, Israelites, in your Bible. They're not. They're not. And we heard that before. We heard the brother on the street saying stuff like that. But no, 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 no. Let's go to the Bible. Let's look at it. Let me present the case to you now. The most important thing is you have in Christ. That's the most important thing. You got this information before you had Christ. It, it don't mean nothing to you. But I'm going to show you how that since you have Christ and since you know the word, that this thing is going to have an impact on your life, an impact on the last days like you've never seen before. This seal that's being unloosed, released, is a testimony of the nearness of our God. I'm trying to tell you up in here. Woo, I'm excited up in here. My God. Woo. Revelations chapter 3 verse 9, which is our vision scripture. In every year and every day we grow as a church, God reveals something new about our vision. You see, we, we are growing into the vision of this church. He gave us a vision that was bigger than us, Cole. 
But in this vision, look what he says. He says, listen, behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. In this church age called Philadelphia, our Lord Jesus is prophesying that there would be a group of people who worship in synagogues who say that they are Jews but are not. Who else could that be? Ooh, we got so much. Listen, listen, listen. The only one major group of people claiming to be Jews today are the ones that's in Israel right now. The only ones worshiping synagogues as a major group, the one worshiping right now, and we're going to prove it all. I'm going to give you evidence. I'm going to give you evidence. And after we do next week, we're going to have a question and answer portion so that you can bring your legitimate concerns and we can see if the Bible and history and geography and everything else can answer your concerns. Because after I tell you this, you still won't want to believe it. And it's because of what happened to you. <laughs> but the word of God about to undo what happened to you. Hey, the sons of God. There are groans for the revelation of the sons of God. Listen, listen, listen. The Jews who are in Israel today are not the real biblical Jews, Miss Jen. Broke my heart. But what you do when you have the information right in front of you, the Bible is telling you that in your age it's going to be true. And then we look, begin to look at all kinds of other stuff. The Jews today are not the biblical Israel. They are what you call Khazarian Jews. Khazars. Another word for them would be Ashkenazis. Amen. They did not live in Israel. They lived in a portion of Eastern Europe called Khazar. That's, that's it right there. This is a historical thing. It's a historical thing. This is around Russia and Georgia. Amen. And we have another uh, map, amen, to kind of show you. It's in the eastern block of Europe, amen, around southern Russia and the Black Sea. Listen, geographically, you can prove this. There's no question about it. One of their own, a man by the name of Arthur Kessler, who's a Jew, wrote a book by the name of the 13th tribe. You can see where he's gone because there's only 12 tribes. He said, but another tribe was added. And in his book, he talks about, and some people know what I'm talking about. If you know what I'm talking about, say amen. amen. All right, all right, all right. In his book. Kessler brings up and talks about how the current Jews of Israel, he provides historical facts, amen, that the current Jews are European converts. They're from the Caucasus Mountains. They converted to Judaism. They're not the real Jews. They converted to Judaism. I'm talking about, listen, in the year 740, they had a king by the name of King Bulan. This is all history. I gave you geography. Now let me give you history. 740, there was a king by the name of King Bulan. The Khazar Empire was in between the Christian Byzantine Empire, hallelujah, on this side, and the Muslim Caliphate, the Islamic Caliphate, on the other side. And they both told him, look, you can't stay pagan and worship an obelisk. You can't stay worshiping those things. You got to catch me what they was worshiping. You can't stay worshiping our bliss. You can't stop stay worshiping those pagan things. We not going to do business with you. You're going to have to choose either to be a Christian or to be a Muslim, but we're not going to stay, stay business with you. Look, these people were smart. King Bull and I said, I ain't going to be Christian because the Muslims going to stop doing business with me. And I'm not going to be Muslim because the Christians going to stop being with, being, doing business with me. What's the other major religion? He says, we're going to be Jewish. That way we can have a religion, keep doing business with the both of them. 
Listen, 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 listen. If you, if you, if you, if you simple-minded, if you have a lazy mind, if you won't go search and see and prove things, this will mean absolutely nothing to you. 